Chapter 443 Rushing towards the Mingdo Mountain Range once again, Huo Yuao was flying very quickly, and he knew that he was safe when his enemies didn't pursue him. Since that was the case, he chose to fly upwards. He flew back to a height of almost 3,000 meters with the help of his snowy dad's ultimate ice and spiritual interference domain before he channeled all his strength to escape. Once he was safe, everything that he had just investigated surfaced in his mind. The defense on your peak is so tight, how can I discover what your concrete situation is like? What will happen if I unleash spiritual shock against the spiritual barrier? What's going to happen? Huo Yuao could faintly see after some calculations that he could possibly tear that spiritual barrier open temporarily. He used spiritual shock. However, he could only tear it open temporarily, and his spiritual detection was not nearly enough to investigate the circumstances inside. Unless. Unless, he snuck through the barrier himself in the short window of time that the spiritual barrier was torn open. This was the only way so that he could scout everything clearly. However, he would undoubtedly be within attacking range of the Death God, and a single misstep could lead to obliteration. There were many things that Huo Yuao could do to protect his life. For instance, he had his spectral demiplane. He considered whether he could phase into the spectral demiplane first after going through the barrier, and then return to his original space to continue investigating once everything was safe and settled down. However, he quickly refuted this idea, and the reason was simple. He needed time to enter the spectral demiplane. At least, he needed time for warm-up and preparation. He didn't need much time. Five to ten seconds were enough. However, would his enemies give him five to ten seconds? Evidently, they wouldn't. This was like back when he and Wang Qiu were trapped within Sunrise Sea. There were legions of soul engineers looking and patrolling around, and two evil soul masters who were also titled Duo had locked onto them. They would undoubtedly be safe if they could jump into his spectral demiplane, but Huo Yuao wasn't even confident in jumping over himself, let alone taking Wang Qiu, Nan Shui, and Nan Kyu together with him within such a short period of time. Therefore, he chose to burn his spiritual fire, and that eventually led to the tragedy of Wang Qiu sacrificing herself. If he couldn't rely on jumping into his spectral demiplane, then he could only rely on his own abilities to investigate before forcing his way back out. However, that probability was way too low. Once the Death God was unleashed, he would be obliterated. It was difficult to even run inside the spiritual barrier, even though spiritual barriers were not like soul power barriers, which could create direct blockading effects. Even somebody with spiritual power at Huo Yuao's level would be mired within temporary confusion and a trance if they came into direct contact with it. Even a single moment of confusion and dazzlement would very likely be fatal. Is this really a mission that's impossible to complete? Huo Yuao continued thinking. As he gradually flew back to territories controlled by the Star Luo Empire, he slowly descended and revealed himself in the air at the same time. Two silhouettes swiftly came close in midair, and they arrived before him in no time. They were Tang Wutong and Yu Yi, who were responsible for providing support for him in the sky. They could see that Huo Yuan's eyebrows were tightly knitted together, and they immediately understood that Huo Yuan's reconnaissance effort was probably a failure. They didn't ask much, and they escorted him towards the ground. Inside the commander's tent, the White Tiger Duke and Princess Juju were both waiting there. The White Tiger Duke had returned to the observation deck after he sent Huo Yuan away, even though he was very far away. The White Tiger Duke could still see some faint sparkles and flashes in the distance. The White Tiger Duke only came down from the observation deck after Huo Yuan met up with Tang Wutong and Yu Yi, and he returned to the commander's tent to wait for them. Shu Sanchi and the others met up when Huo Yuan touched the ground. Shu Sanchi asked quietly, "What's the situation like?" Yu Ao? Huo Yuao laughed bitterly and shook his head. No, I couldn't scout anything at all. Come, let's talk inside. Tang Wutong followed behind Huo Yuao. When she saw Huo Yuao returning, she felt as if something heavy was immediately lifted from her chest. Even she was a little surprised, since when am I so concerned about this fellow's safety? Shu Juju came forward to welcome him personally once he entered the commander's tent. Huo Yuao forced another laugh and shook his head. Shu Juju's expression didn't change. She smiled faintly and said, This is by our first try, and failure is the mother of success. Yu Ao, everything's fine as long as you're back safe. Even though Huo Yuao knew that she didn't really mean some of the things that she said, his mood was still lifted a little. He smiled back and nodded before he swiftly stepped towards and in front of the sand table inside the tent. The white tiger duke looked at Huo Yuao and asked, What's the situation like? Huo Yuao pointed to the Mingdo Mountain Ranger's main peak and lowered his voice as he said, If my judgment is correct, not only is the Death God on top of this main peak, I'm afraid even its creator is there as well. Everybody was momentarily stunned when they heard his words. The Death God's creator, the White Tiger Duke and Princess Juju's expressions changed slightly. Yes. If there was such a thing as the Death God, then, naturally, there was a creator. This soul tool probably wasn't something that normal people could use. However, according to the intelligence that they had received, the Death God Dulura hadn't appeared within the Sun Moon Empire in for 30 years. Did this mean that the Death God Dulura was truly here in person? That individual who was known as the existence closest to becoming a class 10 soul engineer? Who are you and didn't look at the White Tiger Duke and Princess Juju's expressions? Instead, he recounted his reconnaissance mission in the sky and the circumstances that he had encountered in detail. Princess Juju couldn't help but draw a cold breath when she heard Who are you speak of the spiritual barrier within a one kilometer radius encircling the main peak. This means that the Death God Dulura isn't just adept with crafting soul tools like the Death God, he's also talented in creating powerful spiritual type soul tools. The corner of Who are you mouth twitched, even though he didn't say anything in response. His expression was clear enough. This was common knowledge, since he was the sole engineer closest to becoming a class 10 soul engineer. How could he not know how to craft other kinds of soul tools? The white tiger duke then asked Huo Yuao, Yuao, what do you think the class of this spiritual barrier is? And what is that white circle of light that tried to scan you? Huo Yuao didn't hesitate as he replied, the spiritual barrier is definitely a class 9 soul tool. Even though it's not as valuable as the death god, it's likely to be the most powerful spiritual type soul tool in the world today. The white light that was trying to probe me was undoubtedly also a class 9 soul tool. Even though it could only probe outwards explosively and spontaneously, the area that it can cover is simply too great. 10 kilometers. Its detection uses both undulations and spiritual power, and it's possibly even more powerful than the spiritual barrier. Investigating the main peak with a thing such as this around is far too difficult. The White Tiger Duke and Princess Juju's expressions became incredibly black after listening to Huo Yuao's words. Just as he had said, a single mountain's peak had three class nine soul tools installed for defense and offense. This meant that this peak was completely locked down. They had all experienced Huo Yuao's spiritual detection before. Even he couldn't complete this reconnaissance task properly under such circumstances, so there was no need to talk about them. The White Tiger Duke heaved a long sigh and said, "This expedition was too dangerous. Fortunately, you managed to react in time. Otherwise." Who are you? I frowned a little as he lowered his voice and said, "However, my trip wasn't completely wasted. Duke, Princess, if my guess is right, the Death God is probably more powerful than we imagined him to be." Hey. Even more powerful, the White Tiger Duke and Princess Juju couldn't help but draw cold breaths at the same time. The Death God had already massacred so many of their powerful soul masters the last time around. If it was more powerful than they had imagined, how powerful could it possibly be? Shu Juju asked with great difficulty, "What aspect are you referring to?" Yu Ao, who are Yu Ao, lowered his voice and said, "Distance. Previously, I was about eight to nine thousand meters away from the Mingdo Mountain Ranges tallest peak when I attempted detection. Suppose that the white light released from the main peak did reach me, and that would mean it had locked onto my position. This means an attack was bound to come right afterward. I could faintly feel the red metal object flicker on the main peak. Though it disappeared because the white light didn't touch me. My enemies didn't know what my cultivation rank was, and they must have had expended a lot of energy to activate that special
saying, Who are you, Asid? We can't make any other judgments about the Death God because we are terribly short on information regarding it. I feel that we have to continue our reconnaissance missions, and we should only stop once we figure everything out about this soul tool. The Death God's attacking strength is far too frightening. Furthermore, its surrounding defenses are tight and strict. One can say that the Death God is the key to whether we will be able to break through the Sun Moon Empire's defensive perimeter. As long as we can do something to get rid of it, we will have very good chances of breaking through the Mingdo Mountain Ranger's defensive perimeter. In the end, we have many soldiers and soul masters. Our forward push and momentum will be unstoppable once we break through this defensive perimeter. The White Tiger Duke answered, but conducting any more scouting missions against them is just too dangerous. Furthermore, only you possess abilities like that, and I can't let you put yourself in harm's way again. Who are you? Asked plainly and said, That's fine, Duke. With this attempt, we have obtained a better understanding of the Death God. I will be even more careful next time, and I will not use spiritual detection rashly to investigate what's happening on the other side. You can rest assured that I will not treat my life like a joke. The disappointment in Who are you? Asked had vaporized after tonight's investigation. If his opponents were too simple, they wouldn't trigger his fighting spirit. While the Death God's mysteriousness and how powerful it was piqued his interest greatly, he was the only successful product of Shrek Academy's Ultimate Soldier plan. Wasn't investigating the Death God the best platform to evaluate his ability as an Ultimate Soldier? The White Tiger was momentarily stunned as he stared at Who are you? Asked. It was overflowing with fighting spirit. Only true heroes come forward in times of trouble and difficulty. This youth was faced with almost impossible circumstances and a dead end, but he was still full of fighting spirit and wasn't in the least bit timid or afraid. He didn't just have laudable spirit; he also had confidence in his own abilities at the same time. He would push forward even in the face of impossible opposition. Such a role model. Shu Juju stared at Who are you? Asked, and strange lights flickered continuously in her beautiful eyes. This fellow is just too outstanding. If only I were a few years younger, the princess couldn't help but blush a little when those thoughts ran through her head. Dai Hao contemplated momentarily and said, "I won't try to give you any more advice. You are, and I represent the Star Lua Empire's millions of citizens, and thank you. As soldiers, it is our duty to protect our country so that our country's citizens will not suffer the cruelty and torment of war. From now on, please tell us if you need anything or any help with regards to your investigation. The Northwestern Field Army and I will do everything we can to give you sufficient aid. Who are you? Asked, nodded and said, "Thank you for your trust. I will go back first so that I can have a long, detailed think about this. All right." The White Tiger Duke and Princess Juju also needed to digest the news that Huo Yuo had brought back tonight. Huo Yuo returned to his room and crossed his legs on his bed. Images and scenes of his reconnaissance mission targeting the Ningdo Mountain Ranger's main peak surfaced in his mind continuously, and he didn't let any single detail slip through his fingers. With his superior memory, everything that he had experienced just now replayed over and over again his mind with almost complete accuracy. Is there really no weakness or loophole? Huo Yuo opened his eyes again after two hours, and his eyebrows were tightly locked together. He had attended many different conjectures in his mind again and again, but every single conjecture ended up at a dead end with no exception. Charging through the spiritual barrier created by the Class 9 Soul Tool wasn't difficult, but the hard part was how he could come back out alive. Furthermore, investigation required time once he was inside, and would that mysterious Death God jeweler give him the time he needed? His eyes slowly turned golden, and two shadows were released from Huo Yuo's body. And took human form. The Sky Dream Ice Worm and the Ice Jade Empress Scorpion. Who are you? Al lowered his voice and asked, Brother Sky Dream, Ice Empress, help me think of solutions. Do I have a chance from your perspective? The Sky Dream Ice Worm said, Yes, of course you have a chance. There was a sneer on his face when he spoke. Ah. Who are you? Al looked at him in surprise. He had been racking his brains for such a long time to no avail, and the Sky Dream Ice Worm immediately said he had a chance once he came out. The Sky Dream Ice Worm sneered and said, You have forgotten one thing, you Al. You have a powerful protector. If you factor this into your calculations, you may not even be able to die even if the Death God gives you a direct hit. Who are you? Al's eyes lit up and said, Are you saying? The Ice Empress chimed in, We can't just let him just do bad things by attaching himself to you. He has to show some responsibility. There was no question that the Sky Dream Ice Worm and the Ice Jade Empress Scorpion were talking about the Beast God, who had a reverse scale attached to Who are you? Al. The Beast God was afraid of Who are you? Al attaining the godly seat and breaking through the human limit in the future. However, he was afraid of Who are you? Al dying at the same time. If Who are you are died. The great Stardo Forest's fortune and destiny would be terminated, and that could be considered absolutely destructive for them. Therefore, Etienne had to use his own strength to protect Who are you? Who are you? Asked squinted his eyes as he lowered his voice and said, "Brother Sky Dream, Ice Empress, how much do you guys think of Etienne's strength can be channeled through that reverse scale when it takes a destructive hit?" The Sky Dream Ice Worm said, "Attacking strength will be hard to say, but at least 80% of his defensive strength can be channeled. Previously, when he stopped you twice from feeling the God Realm's energy, he almost used a conversion technique to bring his aura to the surface of your body. Under such circumstances, you can almost directly pass on the impact of any destructive attack to his body. Etienne is able to control a certain amount of spatial energy with his cultivation, and he can locate your position through the reverse scale and transfer his own strength through spatial energy. When you're in danger, you can use spiritual power to stimulate that reverse scale so that Etienne's reaction can be even faster." Perhaps you can even rip him off a little. As for you, as long as there's enough defensive strength, you can at least run into your spectral demiplane. Of course, we also have to be extra careful. We should be alright as long as we don't take a direct hit from the light of the Death God. Who are you? Al's eyes slowly started to glow after he listened to the Sky Dream Ice Worm's words. A crack had seemed to appear in the dead end from before. If that's the case, then we can. One day later, Who are you? Al was up very early in the morning, and his spirits were a lot better compared to the previous day. For Who are you? Al, there were many times when Donga was his everything. His conclusion that Tangutong wasn't Donga had affected him a lot, and investigating the Death God became the best way for him to free himself. The pain in his heart became a lot lighter if he channeled his energies and emotions into this endeavor. He cast his gaze towards the east as he left his tent. He made use of the purple energy from the east that came in the early morning and cultivated his purple demon eyes. Who are you? Al didn't give up on cultivating his purple demon eyes. Even though it had been raised to its limit, cultivation had long since become the most important thing in his bones. Warm purple energy nourished his eyes and made his already extremely clear and transparent eyes even more glossy and full of luster. And the pale purple hues emanated an elegant and noble aura. Tang Wutong walked out from her tent, which was next to his. She saw Who are you, Al, who was still cultivating on his side. Once she came out, Tang Wutong realized to her surprise that she felt a little dazed when she concentrated on Who are you, Al. In that moment, she felt as if his entire being had integrated into the air, and it seemed like his body was part of the sunlight and the air. This clairvoyant and penetrating feeling didn't have a single trace of impurity. How can that be? She felt like she had only had this feeling from her father before. His soul power was like great waves, and his blood chi was like mercury. With every breath that Who are you, Al took, the chi and blood in his body, his soul power, and his spiritual power fused together almost perfectly and circulated at the same time. Who are you, Al? Subconsciously felt as if his cultivation was improving again. For Who are you, Al? In his current state, a pure improvement in his soul power was not enough to satisfy his needs. It was more important for him to feel the great laws of heaven and earth during the process of cultivation. Previously, he had only managed to gain that blessing from the aura of the world during his moments of deep contemplation. Who are you, Al? Stood there for an hour. He exhaled a long breath when the soul power in his body followed the mysterious heaven techniques pathways back into his dandelion. The air became mist and was thin like a thread, but condensed without dissipating. This stream of air reached 100 meters
Who are you out and around? And he saw Tang Wutong with her hands on her waist and an angry looking demeanor. She seemed like she was covered with a layer of golden light under the light of the morning sun, and her pinkish blue hair was colored with another dash of gold. She was as pretty as pretty could get. Is something up? No matter how beautiful Tang Wutong was, she already had a different place in Huo Yuao's heart once he concluded that she wasn't Wang Donga. Tang Wutong was very upset. That fellow had been standing there for two hours, and she actually watched him from the side for two hours. In the end, this guy turned around and walked off after this cultivation without even giving her a single glance. She could tell from his tone that he evidently hadn't noticed her presence. Tang Wutong glared at him as she asked, "I think you're known for your spiritual power. There's a living human being standing right next to you. Didn't you see?" Huo Yuao said apologetically, "I'm sorry. I was too into my cultivation before this. Do you need anything else?" "I." She stared at Huo Yuao's clean eyes that were clearly a little distant. Tang Wutong was momentarily stunned. Yes, I called him to stop him for nothing. But why do I feel like this fellow's current behavior and appearance is just so disgusting? It seems like this is worse than how he looked when he behaved like a pervert. Of course, Huo Yuao didn't know what Tang Wutong was thinking inside. He nodded at her with a faint smile on his face when she didn't answer him, and then turned around and walked towards the canteen. Tang Wutong shook her fist furiously as she watched Huo Yuao's figure gradually disappear. She really wanted to beat this detestable guy up, even though she didn't know why this guy was so detestable. I also want to eat. Tang Wutong stomped her foot and raised her little arrogant chin pridefully as she stepped towards the canteen. After breakfast, everything around Huo Yuao seemed to become air. He directly returned to his tent and didn't reappear until evening. He didn't even come out for lunch. Others naturally wouldn't go disturb him. Soul masters sometimes skipped meals when they were having close door cultivation. That was very normal. Huo Yuao only reappeared once the sky had gone completely dark. This time, he went right into the commander's tent. Duke, sir. Huo Yuao greeted respectfully as he came before the White Tiger Duke. I heard you didn't eat lunch, Yuao. Were you cultivating? The White Tiger Duke asked with a faint smile on his face. He had a very good impression of Huo Yuao. This youth wasn't even twenty, but he had a very calm and stable personality. More importantly, he had that spiritual detection, and he could be said to be a fantastic boost for the Star Luo Empire's reconnaissance efforts and capability. Even though they were mired in a terrible situation at the moment, they were at least able to find some chances to resist their enemies on the level of Soul Masters. Huo Yuao said, "Sir, I have to go out tonight. I'm here to report my intentions to you." What? The smile on the White Tiger Duke's face immediately froze. "You're going back out tonight?" No. Dai Hao almost immediately denied Huo Yuao's words. What kind of joke is that? Last night's expedition was already so dangerous, and he almost didn't come back. What are we to do if the Death God is activated when he heads back out tonight? Without considering how he felt about him, and just considering his reconnaissance value and his importance to the entire Star Luo Empire, his death in action would be an enormous and irreparable loss. Huo Yuao smiled and said, Rest assured, Duke, I will not risk my life to investigate the Death God. I have to think about this a little more because I haven't done sufficient preparation. However, I can't do nothing right now, otherwise, where is Glue's trapped right here, and the Sun Moon Empire would have achieved their goal in this aspect. Then what are you going to do? The White Tiger Duke's expression relaxed a little. Huo Yuao squinted a little and said, The Sun Moon Empire have locked down our surveillance capabilities for such a long time. I don't have a solution for the main peak where the Death God is located, but can I not do something about those surveillance soul tools? I'm going to cause some trouble for them. The White Tiger Duke's eyes glowed. Are you saying? Huo Yuao stepped in front of the White Tiger Duke and whispered some things to him. The White Tiger Duke's eyes became increasingly bright as he listened, and he nodded continuously towards the end. All right, do that. Don't worry, everything that you achieve or obtain will belong to you. Of course, if you're willing, the Empire is willing to pay and purchase them from you as well. What do you think? Deal. Huo Yuao answered without hesitation. The White Tiger Duke asked, Do you need me to help with anything? Huo Yuao shook his head and said, No need, I'll be the smallest target by myself, so my buddies from the Tang sect will be enough to give me support. One reason why I came to tell you is so that you will know, and another reason is so that I can tell you to pay attention to your defenses and to safeguard against any operations that our enemies make taking revenge. A sneer appeared at the corner of the White Tiger Duke's mouth. Revenge. I was afraid that they wouldn't come. I earnestly wish that they send their entire army to take their revenge. The Star Luo Empire had an absolute advantage in terms of open battle. They had eight Soul Master Legions worth of fighting strength, and without considering Soul Tools, the White Tiger Duke was confident of completely defeating the Soul Engineers in the Sun Moon Empire's hand that protects the nation if they were fighting one on one. Of course, the premise was that the Soul Engineers appeared as Soul Masters. Huo Yuao immediately gathered his companions once he exited the commander's tent and told them about his plan. No one was overly worried about his plans. With Huo Yuao's abilities, he wouldn't be in too much danger as long as he didn't investigate the main peak. In the end, his abilities to confuse his enemies were too strong. One hour later, the camp that belonged to the Star Luo Empire's Northwestern Field Army was completely pitch black. There was light shining from the surveillance towers, but besides that, the soldiers were all resting. Such was life in the military. Everyone slept early and woke up early. They did this to avoid ambushes from their enemies at midnight, and so that the army could keep themselves in top fighting condition. A black shadow rose soundlessly through the air and high into the sky in the darkness of the night. All of the Northwestern Field Army's aerial surveillance soul tools were entirely shut down at this moment, and this shadow didn't trigger any reaction at all as it rose into the sky. Shadow after shadow rose into the sky immediately afterwards, and they followed that first figure. Huo Yuao was flying at an altitude of about 1,000 meters. His flying type soul tool was activated, and he was using imitation at the same time. It was easiest for him to control his flight at such a height, and his speed was incredible. Typical surveillance soul tools in the air couldn't even detect his existence. The Mingdo Mountain Range was but several dozen kilometers from the Northwestern Field Army's camp. Soul sages required very little time to fly across such a short distance. The dark towering mountain swiftly appeared within Huo Yuao's vision. At this moment, he was completely within the range of the Sun Moon Empire's aerial surveillance soul tools. Huo Yuao stabilized himself in midair and looked up at the sky. He ran the risk of being detected if he continued forward. The oscillation detectors were the most troublesome for him. Those soul tools released countless sound waves, and their method of detection imitated that of bats. Any kind of soul skills meant for concealment wouldn't avoid detection. Oscillation detectors were undoubtedly the mainstream for future development in surveillance soul tools. At this point, the detection range was just relatively shorter. Huo Yuao released his spiritual power and stretched it far into the distance. Huo Yuao's eyes quickly revealed surprise. Damn, how many surveillance soul tools are there? Not far in the distance, there were thousands of surveillance soul tools of many different kinds dotting the sky. There were surveillance soul tools of almost every type, and they were arranged neatly in midair as they stretched out to both sides of the mountain range. They stretched beyond the horizon with no end in sight, and just looking at them in front of him made him feel like there were thousands of them. It was hard to say how many more there were further out. That's nice. The Sun Moon Empire is very wealthy. A faint smile appeared on Huo Yuao's face as his flying type soul tool slowly became vertical. The blast quartz pointed downwards, and he released his own soul power at the same time. His entire body surged into the sky, and he flew towards a high altitude. The aerial surveillance soul tools in front of him weren't his targets. There were large amounts of ground to air and air to ground offensive soul tools behind those surveillance soul tools cooperating with them. That was position after position of soul tools. Individually, their offensive capabilities paled in comparison with that of the Death God. But if all their offensive capabilities fired off at the same time, they would be able to cover an incredibly massive area. Escaping from them wouldn't be that easy.
Who are you? I relied on his invitation, and in addition to his aura of ultimate ice concealing him, it was impossible for him to be discovered as he moved closer. He quickly arrived above this high altitude aerial surveillance soul tool. He wasn't hasty about it, and he activated spiritual detection and surveyed his surroundings. The same model's altitudes in the sky wouldn't vary that much, and searching for high altitude aerial surveillance soul tools at such a height was naturally the easiest. About three minutes later, the corner of Huo Yu's mouth curled into a satisfied smile. He suddenly descended a little and placed a metal piece that was about the size of a palm against the top of that high altitude aerial surveillance soul tool. This metal piece didn't have a large surface area, and it was stuck against the soul tool's blind spot. So Huo Yu wasn't afraid of it being discovered at all. He flew back up again afterwards and went towards his next target. There were six milk bottles attached to the flying type soul tool behind him. These six milk bottles could double the amount of time that Huo Yu could continue flying at a height of 3,000 meters. But even then, he had to continuously consume his own soul power at the same time, and he also had to fight against the thin air and a bit of cold, so his soul power and physical strength were still being continuously extended. Huo Yu finally began to feel a little fatigued roughly one hour later. He turned around and flew back in the direction he had come from. Huo Yu dropped back to the ground only after he flew out of the detection range of the Sun Moon Empire's surveillance soul tools. How's it? Shu Sanchi had been waiting here for a long time, in accordance with the arrangements of Huo Yu's spiritual detection. Thanks so much for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Also, leave a comment down below with suggestions on what novels to read.